how will the Bangladesh economy perform uh, over the next uh, couple of years? There are a few overarching factors which would have a disproportionate impact on how we perform. First factor would be the length of the Ukraine-Russia war. Since the war is still ongoing, there is uh, in one scenario, there is good possibility that this war may get prolonged, leading to certain consequences. The second factor would be the relationship between China and the US, which are the two dominant economies, and the resulting impact on the global trade. The third factor would be the condition of our internal dynamics given the election is coming up next year and also there are certain issues with governance as well. So as we all know, the Ukraine-Russia war has started this year and this has created havoc in the overall global economy due to sanctions that have been imposed by EU and the US. And this had led to a huge spike in commodity prices, particularly for uh, natural gas and oil. And Bangladesh being an importer has been negatively impacted because we had to buy oil from international players. So if the war continues, there is a good likelihood that the sanction would remain in place and which would lead to higher commodity prices for Bangladesh. As we know, Bangladesh is already significantly constrained in terms of the balance of payment situation. Our reserves have decreased significantly. Our exchange rate has, has depreciated. Uh, against the major currencies and as a result we feel that the war, the continuation of the war will uh, will keep on putting up pressure on the country's economy in general in the near future. The second key factor that I wanted to stress on was the status or the relationship between the US and, and China. As we know, Donald Trump in 2017 initiated the US-China trade war by imposing uh, tariffs and trade barriers. The new president, Joe Biden, has actually continued that strategy of, of pushing uh, China. Bangladesh has been an overall beneficiary of this situation. As we know, Bangladesh has received new export orders, particularly in the RMG sector, due to this uh, trade war. But as we know, the Ukraine-Russia, uh, apart from the Ukraine-Russia war, the, the trade war between China and the US has also led to change in perspectives among Western leaders as well. Many of them feel that there should be more onshoring of, of operations, which might not be a good result for Bangladesh because Bangladesh might lose out on export deals. Alongside, there are some local domestic challenges which would directly impact the economy. Due to the current stress that we are facing, there is a possibility that some other companies, some medium to large companies might become defaulters which would lead to more pressure on our banking system which is already under a lot of pressure due to high classified loans. Apart from that, uh, as we know, Bangladesh government has commendably invested in large infrastructure projects which are already yielding benefits. However, there is a possibility that our repayment of loans in US dollar would would double in the next few years and put up a lot of pressure on our balance of payment situation and our reserves as well. Currently, we are paying around $2 billion for repayment of loans, which is expected to double according to estimates by ERD, which would also uh, impose a significant pressure on our budgetary conditions. So if we do not find ways to increase our taxation, uh, which is around less than 10%, it would have a significant impact on our overall budgetary situation. So just to sum up, we feel that our country's economic performance would depend on the state of the Ukraine-Russia war, the state of the, the US-China trade war, as well as certain domestic or structural challenges.